If you're thinking about selling your home, you may want to consider doing some staging. Now, how much of a difference is there between staging and decorating? You may be surprised to know the answer. Hi, my name is Kim Knaus. I'm a global real estate advisor with One Sotheby's International Realty. Different houses require different levels of staging. So whether it's new construction or someone that's currently occupying their home, when you have it staged right, the pictures are going to show the house in its best light. Learn how to make a good impression on potential buyers with home staging essentials on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. Today we're going to be talking about staging your home for sale, which is similar to home design in many ways. The big difference is when you're designing your own home, you're decorating to your personal taste, and when you're staging, you're creating spaces with mass appeal. Today we'll look at ways to get your home ready for showing, highlight your home's strengths, define the use of your bonus spaces, and so much more. Kim, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's great to have you here with us today. So I thought it would be a fun opportunity to not only tour the property, but to share with our viewers some tips on when they're thinking of selling their home, staging. For sure. I think that's a really important part of selling and, and getting your home on the market. Absolutely. So staging, sometimes very important, especially in new construction. What you've got going on here really kind of welcomes it is. It warms up the space a little bit when you're walking in and it's just empty, barren space. Adding a little greenery and just, you know, a candle, that kind of thing, just gives it that sense of home. Yes, those small accessories and design always make a big impact, right? So let's go ahead and walk on in. I want to check out the rest of the space. The first thing that I notice is these really high ceilings, right? What a grand space. It's definitely something that draws people to this um, particular style of home. Kim, so there are so many great features in here. When it comes to prospective buyers and their list of the must-haves, I see the fireplace here. I feel like right. that is a must-have. Which sounds funny in South Florida, right? Right. Because we don't need the warmth necessarily besides maybe one or two. <laughs> but the ambiance. But it, right. It's the ambiance. And I think it really completes the room. Yes. Now, I see a bar over there. Yes. A great room with a bar is an entertaining hub, as we say. The bar is a really big statement piece. It's just a really nice display area, too. Yes. I love the connection of that to this space because it really is very conversational. The way this has been staged and set up also is really nice. You walk into these really large spaces that are open and it's hard to make them cozy, but having those elements already in place, the fireplace and the bar, and then the way that you stage the area or, or furnish the area really can help to make the space cozy. Absolutely. How important is it to carve out these areas with some light staging is it, is it a must? I think it's really important, you know, you, and it sets the homes apart and people can visualize themselves in the space. When you walk in and it's just this empty space and, you know, it's just echoey and there's really no character, it's hard to visualize yourself living there. Even if this isn't necessarily someone's style, which is pretty neutral, yes. but at least they can see they could fit a larger sofa here. It helps to visualize your own furniture in the space or what you would do. So we talked about the furniture being neutral uh, when it comes to staging, but also the wall color here, it's light, it's bright. Do you think that is always sort of a must to like do bold colors sometimes could turn off potential buyers? Absolutely. Some buyers just can't get past certain right. colors. And paint, people get stuck on more than you'd imagine. I, I totally it's always imagine like that. that house with the pink wall or the pink bedroom or, you know, the green in the living room. And it just kind of sticks with them. That's how they name the house. And that's the one thing. So even though it's paint, one of the easiest things to fix. Yes they really can't get past it. I, I think I'm glad you're sharing that. <laughs> so to everyone listening, that's what makes it easy to visualize for yourself. Yes. Coming up, learn how staging can highlight the strengths of your home on SoFlo Home Project.
Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to talk about ways to keep you and your home safe during hurricane season. So now we are here to find out a little bit more about impact windows and doors with the team from USA Windows and Doors, John Ashkenazi and Jennifer Sanchez. John and Jennifer, welcome to SoFlo Thank Home you. Project. Thank you. All windows and doors come in different shapes and sizes and heights. So how do you make the process easier at USA Windows and Doors in helping homeowners select the right type and the right brand? So I think it's mainly when we have the expert come in, they're gonna look at your home, see what your home needs. There's different product lines, different glasses, but we have to determine what is it that you need. Because we can sell you a brand new impact window and door, but if it's not what your home needs, then it defeats the purpose. Absolutely. Now you have access to a lot of different product lines that you sell, so people aren't going to be stuck with one particular brand. They have the ability to get what's really going to be best for the look of their house. Yes. We work with all the manufacturers here locally. We work with ES Windows, Mr. Glass, SIW, PGT, CGI. We work with all the brands. So of course replacing all of the windows and doors in a home can be a big investment. And I think one of the main questions on that is, are there any great incentives or financing options to do that? There are multiple programs available. Uh, one of the most popular program out there is 18 to 24 months, 0% interest, 100% financing and no money down. And you don't have to make monthly payments up to two years. So of course there's a lot of great financing options, but also replacing your windows and doors does also help with some savings on homeowner's insurance, correct? So you don't pay no taxes, period, on impact windows. Uh, not only this, you're also able to sell up to 40% on your homeowner's insurance, wow. and you can save some money every month on your electric bill. Lots of great reasons to change out those windows. And most importantly, how do viewers contact you at USA Windows and Doors? So they can contact us via phone at the number listed uh, below, or they can visit our website. If they want to see more information, they can fill it out, but I would say call us today. All right, thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to talk about home staging here at this beautiful home in Davie with real estate advisor Kim Knaus with One Sotheby's International Realty. Kim, so before the break, we got a chance to kind of talk about making an, an, a statement in the entryway and then the great room of a home and all the entertaining features that makes the house really sellable, right? Yep. Now, the kitchen, though, is the heart of the home. Right, exactly. And this kitchen is fabulous. Right, we have this huge island. And the other nice thing about this space is it flows right into the family room. So this really is truly the heart of the home. When you are working with buyers, is an island one of those wish list items that everyone wants to have in a kitchen? Absolutely. The island is something that comes up time and time again. Everyone likes the big island. The bigger, the better. Yes. <laughs> it's just, it's such a social area. And I think that, you know, it gives you the space to put food out, to sit at it, to stand around and talk. Yes. Now the appliances, premium appliances, I feel like, especially in the luxury market, uh, are one of those other things that really sell a house. For sure. You have to have double ovens. And now I noticed that there's gas here too. Gas cooktop yes. is also one of those things we don't always get in South Florida, so it's nice when you have it. Right. So this is a six burner gas range. Again, this is a big house for, you know, big family. Yes. Yeah, so now staging. In this particular kitchen, Kim, what was important to have on the counters? So you want to add in some elements, a little bit of a pop of color. We use pretty organic elements here. Yes, so you love see the placemats. the placemats, they go with the cabinets. Again, keeping it pretty neutral, but just adding in a little flavor. We have a beautiful orchid arrangement here. Height on that is nice. Right. It's such a a big space that you need a bigger piece there. Yes. Now I wanted to also touch on, you know, when it comes to photographing a home for sale, right. you know, those pictures need to be beautiful and, and to have that perfect look. Are there differences in the way that you might stage the home? Sure. So for instance, right here, I see we have the soap out right now, yes. but when the photos were taken, that's gone. That, that was underneath <laughs> the sink. Yeah. I don't have any hand towels out right now. But generally, again, for photos, those are not out. Um, but if you're showing the house or if someone's living there, that's fine. You want to see the clean, gleaming, yes, sparkling counter, countertops. <laughs> you know, you so, don't want the distraction. So, Kim, with an island this big, the family room has to match, right? Absolutely. So let's go check that out. I want to yes. kind of talk a little bit about this space. Of course, also staged. 
right. important to stage this. Yes, this is where I think that the buyer is going to spend the most of the time. Right. You know, this is where most of my clients, they this focus on space. And you can see that you can fit very, a good amount of furniture and you have the breakfast nook right behind too. So it really is the heart of the home, like you said. So I think what's really great in here, we talked about in the great room, there's a really high ceiling, but even in this family room, it's still quite high and all of this natural light. Yes, and I think that's another thing that people are always looking for is how bright is it? In fact, sometimes people, buyers, ask us to turn off the lights so they can see all of the natural light which that we always get there point. early to turn on all of the lights. That's really a great point. I never knew that, that potential buyers could do that, and that makes sense, yes. totally. So you could feel how the house is going to live without the overhead lights on. Right. This has been great, but we are going to go right outside those doors and check out the outdoor areas and all the features here. So stay with us. Great. Coming up next, knowing how not to overdo it when making improvements to sell on SoFlo Home Project. Soapflow Home Project is sponsored in part by Eldorado Furniture. Looking to refresh your home? Visit us online at eldoradofurniture.com or a showroom near you. here today at All-American Roofing's offices joined by Susan Manning. Susan, welcome. It's great to have you with us today. Thank you so much for having us. So it's another rainy day here in South Florida. And when it's raining, usually the first time we notice those roof leaks in a home or in a business. Yeah. So most roofing companies, I think, when it rains, they send their people home. We are completely the opposite. When it rains, we are super busy. Our phones are ringing off the hook. We have men out there trying to stop leaks temporarily. So we're full force out when, when it's raining, uh, not only for our commercial clients, but for our residential clients as well. Sometimes we can't do anything, but at least they feel better that we showed up see the situation, and then we come back the next day if the weather clears. Susan, so I think one of the biggest concerns or questions that homeowners might have is, is it just a repair? Do you have to start thinking about maybe replacing that roof? I feel like there's a lot of questions. There are a lot of questions, and we do offer free estimates for those repairs. They, all they need to do is call the office, we'll set it up to the, for them, and we'll come out there. If we feel their roof is too old, or maybe the roof was not put on correctly, Correctly. So a repair would be wasting money. We prefer that, you know, give you an estimate for a new roof. We're not going to put a Band-Aid on something that we know is going to leak. And the reason why we do this is because we guarantee our work. Some great stuff right there, Susan. <laughs> and it speaks uh, so much about All American Roofing and all that you do for homeowners and even commercial businesses. Yeah, we really care for our customers. How do people reach you at All American Roofing for help with any of those things? How they reach us is 954-772-7663 by phone or allamericanroof.com on the web. Thanks so much. Thank you. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Alina Capra, and we are continuing to tour this beautiful Davy home with Kim Canals, real estate advisor with One Sotheby's International Realty. Kim, so before the break, we got to see some of the great interior spaces. But in South Florida, it's really all about that outdoor living too. So outdoor living is key. Outdoor space expands your living space yes. here, which is great. And it's covered here. That's what I was just going to say, <laughs> yes. Having those covered spaces where you could escape the the hot afternoon sun is, is really important. Yeah, so we're cool out here. It's great. I yeah. Mean, being in the shade, but then you have your areas by the pool right. to lounge when you want that sun. Right. So would you say here in South Florida, it's just as important to be able to have those spaces screened off eventually to kind of, I feel like it's the new Florida room in a sense. Completely. So it's nice to have a covered structure where you can then enclose it. And it doesn't all have to be enclosed, but it's nice to have an enclosed space to keep the bugs out, to keep it a little bit cleaner. 
and it's just, uh, you know, good to have a combination of both. Yeah, I mean, we talk about flexible space in a home and the interiors being important, but in the exteriors, it's just as important. Right. So now, speaking of Escape from the Sun, there's another covered area right behind us. Right, and you have the ability to actually add a summer kitchen over there too. It's already ready for that. So the outdoor kitchen, I think, is another one of those things that in South Florida, especially, like we live outdoors year round here. Right. That is an essential item. It goes into the entertaining, yes. right? So entertaining and just having everything under the covered space is really nice. So when it comes to staging in the outdoor spaces, would you say that's almost as important as interior staging? Yeah, definitely. This creates an opportunity for people to sit down and take it in. Yes. If it's a vacant house without anything in there, people don't spend extra time. So when buyers have a little bit of extra time and they can sit down and really picture themselves there, so even if it's sitting on the patio for a few minutes, they get a better feel for the home. That's such great insight into kind of rounding out a staged area. So the staging is more for spatial planning yes. than really, you don't want heavy customization. Pool floats, that's unnecessary, it's distraction. So I think it's, it's keeping it simple just showing off the spaces, making it comfortable without going over the top and make it feel like home. That is great advice. So of course we're here in new construction, but perhaps if someone was remodeling or it's a home that's currently being lived in, you know, you think about improvements being made. When might it be over improving in the outdoor space? Well, I'll say this, I've never heard someone say that there's too much covered space. So if there's right. an opportunity to expand on covered space, I think that's always something that will, will translate to another buyer. Great. As far as over improving outside, you can do over improvement anywhere, right? You can add too much customization. So for example, with sport courts, yes. right? Those can be customized. And it's not that I'm saying not, not to do it because that's specific to you and it makes the house enjoyable and fun, Absolutely. right? But you're not going to get the money out of it most likely. It's always that fine line, right? Yeah. And in design, we always have these discussions because sometimes, like you said, it's your home. Right. You want to enjoy it. And if you are selling the home, I think it's just about the knowledge of, hey, this is easy to be changed or, or some things might not be, but right. it's still a great feature to have. Totally. So now we're gonna take things back indoors and talk about staging in the primary suite when we return. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing our tour of this beautiful home in Davie with Kim Canals, real estate advisor with One Sotheby's International Realty. Kim, so before the break, we saw the great outdoor spaces. Yes. And now we're here in the primary bedroom, which is not just a bedroom and bath, but has this great flexible space. Right. So this is staged as a yoga area, I love exercise area. It could be a great Peloton space, but it could also be a nursery or an office. There's a lot of different options here. I love that. I, I, first of all, I love the staging of this because it, it feels so serene. It feels so zen and relaxing. But like the flexible space, are you seeing in a primary suite that is something that home buyers are looking for? It's nice to have the extra space. Also, a lot of the primary suites have the sitting area in the bedroom space. This could be a sitting area here. People are in different sleep schedules. Absolutely. So, so one person may wake up earlier and want to you know, work out or something like that, and it's separated from the sleeping space. I love that it's separate. Yes. And now this sort of bridges the primary bathroom right. with the bedroom. Yeah, so with the bathroom, you have a huge shower with bench and plenty of shower heads. Very nice. And then you have a separate tub, which is a really nice size, and it, dual vanities and really nice counter space. Absolutely, and now when it comes to the bedroom, especially the primary bedroom, that's an important room in the home for any buyer to see right? Uh, size-wise and of course layout-wise. Their staging is important. Absolutely, you wanna see how everyone always thinks bedrooms are smaller than they are. Right. Every time. 
if they're vacant. Yes. So having you know the bed in there so you can see this is a king size bed and then how much more space you'll have around it it's a very visual thing and I, I couldn't emphasize that enough everyone always thinks the rooms are smaller without furniture all of those things so people can visualize themselves right. living there and how it would work for them exactly well, Kim, I want to thank you. This has been so great. I loved not only touring this beautiful new home, but getting all of the tips and advice from you on what really helps make a home sellable when it's staged well. So thank you so much for sharing your expertise. Thank you. I really appreciate your time in viewing this home with me. It was a fun day. Thank you. And in keeping you inspired with all things home decor, check out what we offer you next week on SoFlo Home Project. Next week on SoFlo Home Project... We look at ways to expand your living spaces in a condo. We tour a redesigned property where the focus was on maximizing style and functionality. If you missed any part of this episode or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.